Go ahead. All right, Shalom. We the brothers of Great Millstone and branch out in this morning. First and foremost, we give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, it's a quick little lesson, you know, the brother uh, dropping me off at the plantation, you know, so just gonna uh, do a little quick little little uh, um, uh, lesson through the spirit. This is Matthew 22 and 32. It says, I am the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. The most high is not the power of the dead, but of the living. You know, and as it is written, we are quickened, we are made alive through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Because according to 1 Corinthians, um, let me grab that. I believe it's the first chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Con it says in John 6 and 63, it says, um, uh, the, the flesh profit if nothing, uh, uh, is the spirit that quicken if the flesh profit if nothing, the words that I speak unto you are spirit in our life, man. Yep. So, so like the brother said, the, the truth is what makes us alive, you know. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 30. It says, But of him are ye and Yahweh Shai, who of the Most High is made unto us. So Yahweh has made Yahweh Shai unto us as our wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. You know? Because when we um, go to Wisdom of Solomon, you know, because we're just going to make it a little quick hit, man, and, and just hit the scripture showing you that a, a, the Lord ain't come. For the whole world. He didn't even come for all Israel, so let alone the whole world, man. Con. The Lord is only coming for, for, for a, a small number of his people, a small number of Israelites who were predestinated to receive this. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 17. It says, In thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above so wisdom and the holy spirit is synonymous with each other which yahweh shai is our wisdom he is our understanding lo he come in the volume of the book it is written of him right it says verse 18 for so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom mm -hmm. you know because that's how uh, uh we are quickened that's how we are made alive i'm gonna get that scripture where it speaks about quickened I have one for yep, you. Yep, yep, you got it's it. It's Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 20. It says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh. So this is just backing up the point that the brother made, that the Redeemer, the Savior, whom the world eagerly calls Jesus, is real name being Yahweh Shai. He's not coming for the whole entire world. He's only coming to Zion, to Israel, specifically unto those that turn from their transgressions, which will be the elect. In Matthew's the 24th chapter, it says that Yahweh Shai will come with power, with power and with glory with his angels to gather the elect from the four corners of the earth not everybody the elect the chosen of the nation of israel okay but that was it on that that's it this is ephesians 2 verse 4 it says but the most high who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins hath he quickened us together with yahweh shai by grace ye are saved and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai, that in the ages to come he might show them exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Yahweh Shai, man. You know? So the Lord, grace and mercy is what, man? That, 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 that we were dead in our sins. We were being called Gentiles. We were uh, led away into these idols that we were serving. But yet through Yahweh Shai, the Lord is calling us back. Uh -huh. You know? We are made alive according to Revelation the 11th chapter, man. It says our dead bodies lied in the street. The Lord had casted us away. He said, he said, Hosea, the first chapter, we are, we ain't his people, man. Uh -huh. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding. Proverbs 21 and 16, it says, the man that wandereth, wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's it. So not having understanding, not having this wisdom, that means you're dead. All right. That means you. you, you that means you're still under a, a gross darkness. The covering cast that's been uh, spread across all the four corners of the earth. But the Lord has brought us out of this darkness of this world into His marvelous light, making us alive, man. It says that we're the children, we're the sons of light, man. We're not in the darkness. We're not asleep. We're awoke. We're alive, and we know what's going on in this world. We know that this place is about to get go down, and that uh, uh, the Lord is about to set up a new heaven and a new earth for indwelling righteousness, man. Okay. Yep, this is Revelation 11 and 11 Because uh, I quoted Revelation 8 And it said there are dead bodies, man mm -hmm. Which we were dead, why? Because we didn't know who we were We didn't have this understanding We discontinued from our heritage This Revelation 11 and 11 And after three days and a half The spirit of life 
See, we are quickened. The uh, uh, Yahweh Basham Yahweh is the God of the living. You see? So the spirit of life right. from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them, which is synonymous with what? Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, man. Prophesy on these dead bones. It says what? That these dead bones is the whole house of Israel. So the spirit has entered back into them, man. Right. You, don't, you don't get no heathen out of that, right. <laughs> you know. Right. There's no way around that, right there. Right. It said. It said. Get a. Um, get a. Get a stick. All right. With uh. Uh. With with the companions of Ephraim and with the companions of Judah. Roughly paraphrasing, meaning the twelve tribes coming back together. The Lord is not coming to gather all the other nations. Hey, right. Right now, we're spiritually rebuilding the temple. And what happened uh, uh, in the in the time of Ezra and Nehemiah when them heathens was trying to come and help us build, claiming that they serve our power, that they fear our God? Hey, uh, I believe it was Zerubbabel. He said, "Nah, you ain't got no part with us. We ain't dealing with y'all." And that's why in Maccabees, when we were uh, uh, rededicating the temple, all right, it says that the heathen were sore displeased. Okay, when uh, uh, they seen that the altar re was renewed as before, man, and the sanctuary was rebuilt, man. So they're mad at this. Why? Because we are back. We have crawled out of the graves. We crawled out of the uh, the the, the uh, uh, um, what are the, the, the coffins that we was placed in, man, through the spirit and power Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and we're proclaiming judgment for what they have done uh, uh, to us while we was in them graves, you know. Yep, this is wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 24. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion, she passes and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her, man. You know, so that's what that spirit of life entering into us, and we're standing upon our feet. Matter of fact, this keep popping in my head, so I gotta get it. This is Ezekiel thirty-seven. This is the book of Ezekiel thirty-seven, and I get straight to the point. Verse five: Thus saith the Lord, Power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. That makes us what? The sons of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, because why? He's our power, because that makes us alive. We are quickened through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. We are quickened by the Holy Spirit, you know? So therefore, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, that means Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is not your power, according to Zechariah 13 and 8. He said two thirds uh, shall be cut off and die therein, but the one third I will bring through the fire and I will call them my people and they shall call me their power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why Paul said, peace be on the Israel of God, man, because those are the ones who are predestinated to receive the Holy Spirit in order to receive the grace, the mercy from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's it. You know, and those are only Israelites, man. As we read in Ezekiel the 37th chapter, yep. those dead bones, those dead bodies were Israelites who are standing upon their feet once again. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, because how are we breathing? We're breathing through the book of life. The, uh, it says that wisdom is the uh, is the breath. The wisdom of the Heavenly Father is the breath. And it's talking about the true understanding of the scriptures. And the scriptures was only given to the Israelites. Psalms 147, it says that I show up my word unto Jacob, my statutes and my judgments unto Israel. I have not dealt so with any other nation. Praise Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The Lord is only dealing with us. The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And specifically on this side, he's only dealing with with the elect. And Romans the ninth chapter says all Israel is not of Israel. And Galatians the sixth chapter it says that there is an Israel of the heavenly father and that's talking about the chosen. That's talking about the elect. That's talking about the ones that Yahweh Shai said that he was praying for in John the 17th chapter man. He said I pray for them I pray not for the world. The them that he was talking about was the uh, uh, the chosen the elect that was given to him before the foundations of the earth man. Predestinated to be saved in these last days and we hope and we pray we are part of that number man. But um, I had a precept in Job chapter 32 and verse 8. It says, but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty giveth them understanding. Right. The inspiration. When you go into that word inspiration, it means the breath, the breath of the almighty, the breath of the heavenly father, Yahweh, giveth them understanding. So the breath is what this wisdom. Now we have understanding of the scriptures. And since we have understanding, we're no longer in the congregation of the dead. Because it says that if you wander out of the way of the understanding, then you will be dead. But now that we have the understanding, we are alive. We are living. Okay? We are alive in this world. We're dead. But uh, uh, with Yahweh Shai Mashiach, we're living, man. In his eyes, he's the only one. Uh, in Isaiah 60, um, 
66 and 2 it says to this man will I look when you go into that word look it means to regard with care the ones that the one uh, uh, the ones that the Lord cares for is the ones that are poor meaning meek humble tremble at his word and of a contrite spirit man he's not worried about all these other people all these other people if you look around all these cars majority of these people is gonna die man through nuclear fire through famine through pestilence through all the plagues that's about to come upon this world the Lord is only gonna uh, uh, save a small sanctuary a little sanctuary man as he did in all the other great salvations and great destructions you know this is uh saint john 20 and verse 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them and saith unto them receive ye the holy spirit man uh -huh. so yahweh shah did what he breathed in that word inspire means breathe in you see so he breathed upon the disciples, the apostles, and they received the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing that's taking place, place in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. This is Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet in exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts, which goes to Ephesians, the second chapter. It says we were without hope in the world, man. Ye were Gentiles. You see, verse 12, therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, O, o my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. You see? So the Lord is bringing us out of that dead estate. And how is he doing that? Through the word. The brother uh, uh, quoted it, John uh, 6 and uh, 63. It is the word, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. Right. So we are quickened through this understanding that we have, mm -hmm. which makes us uh, uh, what, you know? Sons and, 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 and daughters of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. That makes us, uh, 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 that makes him our power again, uh -huh, man. Uh -huh. You know? Going back into that Hosea, so Hosea you quoted, man. It said, uh, it, you'll be called uh, uh, my sons. You'll be called my people in the land where you were um, where you were called not my people, man. So us being called not his people, that's us being dead. Us calling ourselves Negroes. Us calling ourselves uh, Mexican, Hispanic, our Native American. That's uh, 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 someone that's saying that, that means they're still dead. That means the Lord then quicken them with his spirit. But us knowing who we are, knowing that we're the Israelites, and knowing that the uh, 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 knowing what's actually going on, and having the spirit of prophecy upon us, man, that's having a true breath of life. Because there's some Israelites that know who they are, but they don't have the breath, which is what that Ezekiel 37 was going into. The sinews, the flesh. That means they have, they know who they are, but the spirit is not within them. They don't have true understanding. They don't have the spirit of prophecy upon them. They don't know that this place is going down. That's why they're Israelites, but they're talking about building communities and building colleges and and shit like that. Well, that's that Ezekiel 37. Yep. They got the flesh and the sinews upon them. They right. know who they are, but the breath ain't in them. Right. You see? Exactly. The same thing that we started with in, in that Matthew. When Yahweh Shah told the, uh, the the wicked scribes and Pharisees, Yahweh Shah told them that the, uh, when the scribes came and, and, and asked them a question, whose who's, uh, uh, wife shall she be out of the seven right, right, uh, right. Uh, men? Right. Yahweh Shah said, ye are not knowing the scriptures. They knew that they was Israelites, but yet they didn't they didn't know Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. So therefore, Yahweh wasn't their power. Because that's why he said that the Lord is the power of the living, man. Right. Those that have this understanding, those that have this knowledge. If you don't have this breath in you, then guess what? The Lord don't regard you. Yeah. Hey, that's what's yeah. the spirit and wisdom of Solomon. Bible Kushak, can you get that as uh, wisdom of Solomon? Kind of. I think it's eight or nine. Kind of. uh, while you grabbing that, this is second address two. In verse 15, it says, Mother, embrace thy children and bring them up with gladness. Make their feet as fast as a pillar, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord. Who have the Lord chosen, man? The, the, the children of Israel, man. This is verse 16. And those that be dead will I raise up again from their places and bring them out of the graves, for I have known my name in Israel, man. So, so, so Israel is the ones that's, that, that's having this, uh, uh, this quickening, this reawakening, you know? So those Gentiles that it's speaking about, man, they are Israelites. Why? Because they're coming back into the understanding of the scriptures, which is prophecy according to the scriptures, man. It's prophecy. There's no way around the, uh, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know? God, uh, shit, I don't see it in the eighth chapter. Um... It might be not. 
you won't regard uh, yep. no man be ever so perfect. Yep. This is Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 6. It says, um, For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. So the Lord don't care about him if he ain't got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding within his spirit, man. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the Lord ain't acknowledging him. See the brother quoted to Isaiah 66. It says, what to this man will I look? To this man will I regard? To this man will I have favor? Him that trembleth at my word. When you tremble at the word, that means what? You have the understanding of the power of the Lord, man. Therefore, you have the Holy Spirit within you, you know? Because the Holy Spirit is only, matter of fact, I got to get that. This is, uh, I know it's in the book of Acts. This is, um... Time because there's a there's a difference. I mean, all Israel, like it says, all Israel is not of Israel, man. There's a, a division even amongst Israel. Even in Acts the second chapter, when Yahweh, uh, when Peter was was giving his sermon, he was going in. The Spirit was upon him. He said, "Save yourself from this untoward generation." The word untoward means perverse and crooked, man. He was talking about two thirds, man. Save yourself from these wicked niggas, man. Don't participate. That's why in John, uh, Saint, uh, First John two and fifteen, it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man." You know, you're supposed to hate this place. You're supposed to hate the uh, the mind frame and the mentality of our people because they're not serving the Lord, man. Go ahead. Uh. This is Acts 5 and 32. It says, and we are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit whom the Most High hath given to them that obey him. Mm -hmm. So obeying the Lord is what you trembling at his word, man. And that's who the Lord regard. That's who the Lord gives the Holy Spirit unto. You stop at this G station, okay. you know. So that's why it's the utmost importance, man, a, 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 to take heed to the words that's been spoken. As Peter wrote in the book, I believe, what's that, uh, uh, First Peter, the first chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it might be Second Peter, the first chapter, don't quote me on it, but he said, uh, uh, we have a more sure, sure word, word of, of prophecy, prophecy, man. Prophecy is what? The spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. So we have the spirit of Yahweh Shai here at Great Millstone, which is what? The spirit of truth, you know? So you do well to take heed to what's been said, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know? So with that, man, we Lord, hey, Lord willing, we hope this was edifying. We give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chafudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, you know, who breathed into us this word through, through who? Through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which was given unto him from our Father, Yahweh, man. It says, the, uh, neglect not the gift that is in thee, that was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, man. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. So to water Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for setting up shepherds to feed us with knowledge and, and understanding. You know, so double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers who preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.